Hey everybody, just a couple things in the last two days that are really reshaping the campaign. And I wanna say this about Donald Trump. Man, he is in a world of hurt. That guy is miserable. He is so mad, he is so pissed off, he does not understand what to do. Think about this, last night, Kamala Harris has a rally in Philadelphia. A hall that he was in recently, she stacked it to the rafters. She stacked it to the ceiling. There was standing room only. Unlike in Trump events where he lies and says, there are 8,000 8, people outside waiting. Bullshit. She did have 20,000 people who couldn't get in. Today in, uh, in Wisconsin, she's got another 22,000 people at a rally. And Trump can't do this anymore. He knows he can't do this anymore. He suffers from electile dysfunction and cannot do this anymore. He can't pull a real crowd. It's the diehards. It's the weirdos. It's the t-shirt sellers. It's the women with the with the you know body paint on that says Trump boner garage. You know, with an arrow pointing down to their yah yah. This guy can't do this anymore. He's lost his touch. He's on Fox this morning having complete hissy fit meltdown. He's trying to get his people to call Kamala, Kambala. None of it makes any sense anymore because he doesn't make any sense anymore. Trump's caregivers are desperate to find a way to manage him. While she's stacking arenas to the rafters, Donald Trump is dancing in front of a incel Camino cyber truck with a, and I'm going to say these words all together because they're actually accurate, with a neo-Nazi Twitch streamer who specializes in sniffing people's asses. And when I say sniffing their asses, I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean that that's his thing. He sniffs his guests' asses. So maybe Donald has a thing for that. Maybe maybe he had his Depends valet change things out right before this the, the little uh, double hand job dance they were doing in front of the of the of the cyber truck. But guys, the joy and the fierce happiness about being in the fight that I'm seeing everywhere now is changing the game. It is changing the ball game. The worse Donald Trump feels about his weak crowds, his limp performance, the more he's going to get crazy. The more shit he's going to talk on trash social, the more name calling he's going to throw at the vice president. Take it all in. Don't be outraged by it. Laugh it off. Move forward. Because right now, this is an election that is going to be tight. It's going to be tough. There will be bad days ahead. I promise you, no campaign gets a free ride. There will be tough days ahead. But right now, Donald Trump is fragile. He's brittle. He's breaking. His own team are freaking the hell out. They don't know what he's doing. He's not. They're not in control anymore. Chris and Susie are not in control anymore. Donald Trump is back in control. And folks, the more you poke him, the more you smack him, the more you put it up in his face and tell him what he really is. Weak, politically impotent, dying, losing, decaying, rotting, falling apart, the better it's going to be. You can expect him to say some crazy stuff coming forward. And by the way, I'm not going to I'm not going to say that again that this race will ever have an easy day, but there are going to be fun days. And the next few days are going to be fun because Trump is now desperately trying to put together a mega rally somewhere and they're nervous they can't pull it off. We'll see what happens. But everybody else, stay in the fight. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.